Peter Dorovat and Philip Scooter were last year found guilty of killing a 15-year-old black boy, whom they'd caught stealing sunflowers on a farm where they worked. They've now been sentenced. Dorovat to 18 years and Scooter to 23 years in prison. The sentence comes two years after Matlamola Mosweu was killed. On the outskirts of the small town of Kolini, Matlamola's parents, Saki and Agnes, say their son's death was senseless and racially motivated. If my son was white, they would have not killed him for being on the farm and taking flowers. They would have disciplined him, but they killed my son because he is black. Following Matlamola's death, people here rioted. Some looted shops and burned down houses, including property owned by the farmers. The community was torn apart along racial lines. This is where Matlamola was found after he was caught on the farm. He had suffered a broken neck. But there are two versions to the story. One is that Matlamola was killed by the two white men who had caught him stealing sunflowers. But they claim the boy died when he jumped off the back of a van as they drove him to the police station. The families of these men say the trial wasn't fair and important evidence was ignored. They say Matlamola's death was an accident. And from, from our side, we, we, we are sorry that something like this happened. But it's, if, if they were dis disciplined on the, on the side of the children, but the people in the township must teach their children, do not take something that does not belong to you. Dora Vart and Scooter planned to appeal their conviction and sentence. In recent weeks, the only witness said he lied to the court when he testified that he saw the two men throw the boy from the back of the van. But he later said he'd been intimidated, bribed and made to read a statement to clear the farmers. In 2017, two white men in Mpumalanga were found guilty of attempted murder after they filmed themselves forcing a black man into a coffin. They said he'd trespassed and stolen copper cables. They threatened to burn him alive. That court's judgment highlighted the extent of racial divisions in post-apartheid South Africa. Here in Kalini, the life sentence given to Dwaravat and Skuta has brought some consolation to a community who promised protests if the sentence was lenient. But closure appears to be a long way off for the sleepy conservative town. What is certain is that the death of a 15-year-old black boy has further entrenched racial divisions here. Famida Miller, Al Jazeera, Kalidni, Northwest Province, South Africa.